COVID leaders issue orders about things like mandatory face coverings. They say their decisions are data driven. Now everyone can have access to the data Miami Dade's mayors relied on. NBC6 investigator Tony Pipitone spoke today to one of those scientists who puts it together. Before the appropriately distanced masked mayors lined up in front of Miami City Hall today, they got a dose of data. This is a real spike. Miami Beach's Dan Gelber. Nobody can argue with the fact that there are more people being hospitalized because either you're sick or you're not. Proving his point, data the mayors received this morning from a team at Florida International University's College of Public Health. Everybody's worried that if percent positive cases goes up, that potentially that will overwhelm the hospital system and nobody wants that. FIU's data tracks not just how many COVID patients are in the hospital, but in intensive care, the orange line, and on ventilators in red. And there's some good news so far. While more COVID patients than ever are in hospitals countywide and within Jackson Health System, they are not getting as sick. It seems to be that um, population that's been affected uh, recently is a younger population, 18 to 35 year olds, and they're often asymptomatic or present with a mild disease. But the mayor stressed, youth is not a vaccine. Lots of folks at Jackson being hospitalized are under the age of 50. In my own hospital in Monsana, we have the same thing happening. Again, the data, which FIU has put on the web for all to see. What do you hope the public gets out of the COVID project? More to put uh, uh, things in a simple layman term so people can actually understand what this means and, um, you know, kind of use it um, to adjust their own daily lives. And that means face covering, hand washing, and physical distancing. For a link to FIU's Miami COVID project, check out our story on NBC6.com. Reporting in Miami Beach, Tony Pipitone, NBC6 News.